Yes. Survival of the fittest again. Time to upgrade my rider chief gear. Oh no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 Hello, party people. Welcome to the video. Today we will be talking about gears, how to upgrade them the most efficient way and what they actually do to your stats. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Chief gear is available at the moment your headquarters reaches HQ-22. They are a vital part in both player vs player fights as player vs everyone fights. Some consider chief gear badges as gears as well. I choose to discuss this in the next video. Chief gear contains of 5 main categories with several sublevels. The green chief gear category contains of 2 sublevels. Blue, purple and gold have 4. Red gear has a whopping 8. As you may have noticed there are a lot of sublevels to zoom through when upgrading. Green, blue and purple chief gears are fairly easily obtainable by just playing the game and participating in events. Chief gear gives buffs to the attack and defense stats of all three troop types. By upgrading a specific piece, your chief gear will boost the stats of either your infantry, hunter or rider troops. The boost is permanent and applies to every event in the game. This means that they are always taken in account when attacking or defending during events like Capital Clash and Reservoir Raid, but also Influencer Trap and attacking your daily infected. Quality benefits provide an additional attack and defense bonus to your troop stats. The game encourages you to upgrade chief gear pieces equally by doing this. There are two types of quality benefits. We will discuss both. To give you the best look I switched over to my alt account. As you can see, I obtained three pieces of epic quality gear or above or in human language, the first level of purple chief gear. The game provides me an additional 6.23% defense bonus for having those. The moment I obtain another three pieces of the second level of purple chief gear I will earn an additional 6.23% defense bonus. I own minimum six pieces of the third level of blue gear. The game rewards me with a 5.01% troop attack bonus. Whenever I own 6 pieces of the last level of blue gear, I will earn an additional 5.01% troop attack bonus. It does make sense to upgrade chief gear equally, however only until the last set of purple gear if you are a free to play player. Gold gear is incredibly hard to upgrade when not spending money, so those extra attack and defense boosts are incredibly difficult to obtain from this level. To understand upgrading chief gear the correct way, you must understand troop types and formations. Without diving too deep into the battle mechanics, it is important to at least know this. Infantry has good health and defense stats, but bad attack and damage stats. Hunters have high attack and damage stats, but are low on health and defense. Riders are a mediocre in everything, however still needed to activate the skills of your rider heroes. You will rarely attack with a 33, 33 33 formation, so upgrading gears equally isn't always your way to go. I've made this tier maker to show you what troops are best and where you should prioritize more. The same goes for gears. I prefer the following order. Infantry above hunters above riders. It goes the exact same way for upgrading any gears. Infantry will be the most important in battle, so your priority should be there. Hero gear gets unlocked when you reach HQ-16. It increases your hero's abilities and power in both PvP and PvE. They also provide buffs to your exploration stats. Hero gear contains of 5 tiers with several sublevels. Materials you need to get to upgrade your hero gear are hero gear designs and hero gear parts. Wow! That was a lot of hero gear in one paragraph. As earlier mentioned, hero gear provides boosts to your exploration and military stats. Because no one likes explorer mode I will only cover the military part about hero gears. Hero gear provides boosts to your lethality and health stats. Just like chief gear, you upgrade parts for every troop type. Attack and defense boosts do not apply to hero gear. Right now there are no official plans for adding another tier to hero gear, although it's likely that it will come in the future. It's possible that you will need another material to up the difficulty to craft them for maxed out hero gear players. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are about another tier of hero gear. Only upgrade gear parts during specific events. Survival of the fittest, state vs state prep, 
Alliance Throwdown are all good moments to upgrade your gear parts. If you are a free-to-play player it is not a bad idea to prioritize a specific event to rank as high as possible in the leaderboards. Besides these, themed events often ask for gear upgrades. That will be all for today. If you still have questions about gears and how to upgrade them, feel free to join my Discord server and ask it in there. See you soon.